Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about slicers. A small introduction. Slicer are the visual filters, which have the power to filter your data by just a small click. These slicers are very user friendly, as these are the small buttons which will just appear on your screen, and you just have to press the button to filter your data. To start with, let's see with an example. Here I have a small data where I have a few products, their ratings, the sales and revenue in different zones. Now I'll create a pivot table. On this screen, I'll click on existing and select a location here. Okay. Now I'll put zone the product and the sales. This is a very simple pivot table I have created. Just a very basic example of a slicer. First of all, I'll change the layout of this pivot table for my convenience. I'll go to pivot table options, display and display classic. Okay, this looks great. Now, what if I ask you to filter your data based on a few products like butter and chocolate cake? Let's say I'll select here butter and chocolate cake. This is the way which usually we use, like we usually filter our data. Now I'll show you how we can filter the data using a slicer. I'll select all. Now I'll go to insert and I'll insert a slicer based on my product. I click on product here. These are all the columns which I have in my data zone, product, status, sales and revenue. Now I'll click on product and click OK. Now this is what I have got. These are the small buttons. I can scroll down. I can increase the size as per my convenience, as per appearance. See, now I want to sort my data based on the chocolate cake. I'll just click on chocolate cake and the data is filtered. Now I need to see brown bread. I'll click on the brown bread and see my data is again filtered. Now what if I need to filter two products? I'll just press control and select the products. Butter and chocolate cake see the highlighted buttons are the filtered like here I have filtered the data based on butter and chocolate now this is one pivot table and one slicer now what if I need to filter my data based on two columns product and status now I'll go on I'll click on this pivot table I'll go on insert and insert a pivot table based on status now See, now I have two slicers, product and status. I have deselected everything. Now see, I need to see the, say, the average products. I have clicked on average and I got the sales of all my average products. Now I click on below average. I have got the sales of all the products which are below average. Similarly, I click on good and I'll get the sales of the products which are good and I'll clear the filters. Now what if I want to filter the data based on a particular product under average. So here I'll click on average. Now I have six products which are which fall under the average category. Now I'll click on butter. So this is the sales of the butter which falls under average category. Now in order to clear my filters I'll just click here clear filters or I'll press alt C Done. now let's see another product under the category of below average I'll click below average here and here are the products which falls which are blue highlighted actually now all these products fall under the below average category similarly if I click on good there is only one product brown bread which falls under good category now here one thing you should know now all these products breadsticks biscuits butter which are light blue in color they do not fall under the category of good there's only one product brown bread which is which falls under the category of good so this is these buttons will not be highlighted in any way so if you go and click on average there's only one category biscuits which do not fall under average since it is not the color of biscuits is different from the others. It's lighter in shade. So this is how you 
know which product doesn't fall under this average now we have created two slicers to filter one single pivot table now we'll create two pivot tables and connect both the pivot tables to a single slicer now let's start first of all I'll, i am deleting this slicers yes okay now i'm again creating a pivot table okay here i am putting sales and revenue now here i am adding the grade and revenue okay okay let's for the convenience let us also put the zone yes okay now here we have status zone and total now i'll insert a slicer on my first pivot table this i'll go to insert and i'll insert a slicer based on zone this is my slicer for pivot table 1 see it is only working on pivot table 1 clearing now we will be controlling both the pivot tables with this single slicer zone let's see how i'll just click on zone i'll go to options i'll go to report connections now see this zone report connection now this zone slicer is only applicable to pivot table 2 which is in column h i and j now in order to connect it to the pivot table 2 i'll just have to click on pivot table 3 and click okay by this uh, slicer is connected to both the pivot tables let's see how this goes i click on east both the pivot tables are filtered i'll click on north both the pivot tables have the data filtered based on the location on the zone let's change the appearance i'll okay this is better now click on south again both the pivot tables are filtered similarly west and similarly if i need to filter based on two locations i'll just press control and i'll select the locations my data is filtered just on a single click and this is very user friendly actually okay now what about the appearance the customization yes you can customize your slicers based on your layout of your report on your dashboards based on the data like here i have only four options so a small slicer will work what if i have let's i'll now i'll create a slicer let's say based on product where i have so many products here i'll click on insert based on my product Now see, I have so many products. See, here I have seven products. Now, what about the customization? Let's make it beautiful to some extent. First of all, you can resize it as per your convenience, as per your space on your worksheet, on your dashboard, on your report. So once I reduce the height i'll automatically get a drop down but this is not like i don't like personally this is my personal opinion i don't like this drop down i want all my options should be visible on my screen so i'll just make it to this size okay now second option that i can do is if i need to adjust it to my slicer 1 let's say here now this okay 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 what i'll do is i'll go to options i'll increase the columns column 3 and four columns here i can increase the number of columns column 1 column 2 column 3 and column 4 i can increase the height i can increase the width of my buttons just to fit it into my screen this is again very easy and very i'm actually i'm enjoying it doing it 
just clicking here okay now what about the colors color scheme here my pivot table is blue and everything is like blue and white so i'm not liking it let's click on this product and just try to change the theme this one no this is not looking nice i think this will work to some extent okay this is okay this will work okay you can even click on new slicer style and you can customize it as per your report we'll discuss it in another video okay one more thing i need to tell you you can even change the settings you can just right click go to slicer settings see here the caption is product i can even change it to let's say product range and just click okay product range product has been updated to product range similarly i can even remove this caption okay now i have only the buttons again i'll go to slicer settings i'll display the header now i can even sort these options in ascending or descending order or you or the custom layout like if i do it ascending z to a my list is sorted previously breadsticks was the first option i was getting but now see i is descending z to a fruity bread is my first option now now how do we delete the slicer you just go to the slicer press the delete button on your keyboard else you can just right click and remove the product range I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.